any given flight of the A380, one moment above all is fraught with danger. Touchdown, the earth-shattering collision of wheels and tarmac. Witness this notorious incident at Hong Kong's Kai Tak Airport in 1993. A Boeing 747 gets caught in a heavy crosswind while approaching the runway. As the jumbo jet twists in the wind, a single set of landing gear sustains the entire impact. But it's strong enough to survive. The A380's landing gear is rated to handle such extreme landings at four times the normal descent rate. But the colossal A380 is 40% heavier than a Boeing 747. And here's an amazing fact. The A380's landing gear is based on the same principle as the device that keeps your bicycle in perfect working order. Engineer Todd Todeschino plans to prove it with a bizarre experiment. This is his stand-in for the A380. A 440-pan piano. It's going to drop from a crane and land at 20 miles per hour. But Todd thinks he can give it a soft landing using exactly the same principle as the A380's landing gear. It comes from an old-fashioned but brilliant invention. You can make a shock absorber from a bicycle pump. If I make the hole smaller, the air can't get out so easy, and it's squashed or compressed, resisting my arm like that. It isn't pumping anything anymore, but it is absorbing the energy. The A380's massive shock absorbers may look like heavyweight, high-tech engineering. But Todd thinks each one is just a cylinder with a piston inside a giant bicycle pump. Right, big sheet of plywood. Yeah. Okay, piano sitting on top of the plywood. And that's what we drop from the crane. So we will put the bicycle pumps yes. underneath the piano. So it'll be like a whole load of sort of fingers of bicycle pumps coming down underneath the, the whole sort of framework. So this framework becomes our landing gear, if you like. Yeah. This gives us a mounting point. Yeah. Okay. Todd gets on with the basic framework while I find out what we're up against. For any experiment to be scientifically rigorous, you've got to have a control. That piano is our control. It's just a piano with no landing gear, and I just thought it'd be good to see what happens when it lands. So here we go. Stand clear. That was not a good landing. If a fully loaded A380's landing gear ever failed, the consequences would be devastating. It seems incredible that it works on the same principle as a simple everyday device. So, is it really possible to save this piano using bicycle pumps alone? The landing gear of the world's biggest airline has a similar design to a set of giant bicycle pumps. Engineer Todd Todeschino aims to prove it by using bicycle pumps to build landing gear for a piano. The piano sits on a plywood sheet to keep it upright as it falls. He mounts the pumps onto the plywood so the handles hit the ground first and push in the pistons. And Todd's made a careful calculation of the exact number of pumps he'll need. 100 of them, nice round number. Nice round number. Well, Loving your science there. But there is method to the madness. Fill the fellow up. The A380's shock absorbers are filled with liquid, not air. So Todd's doing the same. It takes more force to squeeze a liquid out of the pump so it can absorb a much greater shock. 
By squirting the water out of this hole, that it transfers the energy. It takes it out of the, the piano falling. And it's the energy absorbed in squirting that water out of that hole yes. that will give us our damping, that will yes. slow it down. It would land and it would go like that. A trial run gives exactly the sort yeah. of gradual shock absorber Todd's looking for. Unfortunately, bicycle pumps aren't designed for water. Soon, all hundred pumps begin springing leaks in the final stages of landing gear construction. And now, it's a race against time. If it looks like we're hurrying, we are. It's dripy. There's a hundred little drips coming out, and I'm worried that every drop of water that comes out of the pumps is going to be a drop of that extra cushioning to absorb the energy of the fall. We're just hoping it works. Todd decides to go for a landing while we still have some water left in the pumps. We have to make the drop as soon as possible and put his theory to the test. This is our recreation of the A380 coming into land, packed with passengers. One 440-pound piano ready to fall at 20 miles per hour. 100 bicycle pumps ready to absorb the shock simply by pumping water. Can this landing gear prevent a catastrophic crash landing? Was this your idea or mine? Yours. Thank you. Five, four, three, two, one, pull. Result. I think that, that worked. Tough. I was braced for a disaster, but look. Watch for the water being forced out in the replay. It still looks like a piano, but does it still sound like a piano? Go on, give us a tune. OK, I don't play the piano, but the piano works. That's the key thing. 100 bicycle pumps were enough to bring a falling piano safely to earth. When the A380 comes into land, the plane's landing gear absorbs the impact in exactly the same way. But it has just five shock absorbers, one for each set of landing gear. Instead of water, they pump oil. It's much thicker, so it can absorb a heavier shock. 617 tons hit the tarmac, and 853 people hardly feel a thing. All thanks to the bicycle.